Hey everybody, welcome back to Yoga Vibe. Today, I want to talk a little bit about something. It's a sequence called the Five Tibetans, also known as the Five Rites of Rejuvenation. And I'm not sure how I discovered this, if I just fell upon it, the universe just threw it in front of me. You know, when you're looking for something, sometimes the universe just does that. It's like, oh. Written by Christopher S. Kilham. And I recommend everybody go get this book. Now these exercises are supposed to rejuvenate your body, your spirit, and your mind. And increase your energy level, increase your pranic level. In fact, on the cover he says, five dynamic exercises for health, energy, and personal power. <laughs> so you have to do it. You have to check it out. Christopher actually added a sixth Tibetan, if you will. He really felt that this sixth exercise complemented them perfectly. And I think you'll love it. So we'll show you that at the end of the video also. And at the very end, we'll do Shavasana, where we will lie down and put all our attention into the body. Now, there's one little technique we have to apply between each exercise. So in between each exercise, you're going to stand up, put your hands on your hips, inhale deeply. Full yoga breath. Hold for a couple of seconds and exhale slowly through the mouth with your lips pursed or in a O shape, as if you're blowing, like blowing on a hot tea or maybe a flute. Okay, so let's get right into it. These exercises, it's recommended to work your way up to doing 21 of each exercise. Not more. Build up to 21 and that's it. Build up gradually. Start with 5 to 10. Try to build up to 15 and then 21. For showing you them, I'm going to do 7 in each sequence to demonstrate and show them, okay? So let's get into it. Tibetan number one. Now this one is the one you want to take it easy with. Otherwise you might get a little bit dizzy and you don't want to do that. So start with a couple of rotations, see how you feel, and add a few rotations every couple of days or so. Remember, the goal is to get up to 21. Hands out to your side. Parallel to the floor, palms down, fingers together. And while you're spinning, you can just breathe naturally. Inhale. And to the right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And I'll add one for good luck. And then you come back, stop again. You're going to take your two deep breaths. But hang out for a second because you're going to feel a rotating feeling. So just take a couple of seconds and then two deep breaths. Tibetan number two. I'll show you the exercise once and then we'll do it, okay? And then we'll do the seven in a row. So this one is bringing your legs up and bringing your chin to sternum at the same time. And the breathing will be exhaling when you're bringing your legs up. So you start by taking a breath when you're lying down. So let's make this our first one, one of seven. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and continue. I think this is number four, five, six, and seven. You come back down and slowly get up, or at whatever speed you like, and we'll do the breathing technique. Two deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Expanding, expanding, expanding. Hold for a second. Exhale through the mouth with your lips pursed. And again, inhale. Hold. Exhale. Tibetan number three. It's basically the camel pose in yoga, Ustrasana. You'll support your back by putting your hands here and pulling your elbows together. And you'll start with your chin on your sternum and inhale back bend. 
exhale forward bend. Okay, so let's do the whole sequence of seven. Starting like this, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and just continue like that. Three, six, and seven. And then standing up for the. And again, two full yogic breaths. Inhale deeply. Hold and exhale through the mouth. Inhale deeply when you're ready. And exhale through the mouth with your lips pursed. Tibetan number four, sitting in Dandasana with your arms straight. So I'll show you the exercise one, and then we'll do the sequence of seven. Bringing your hips up and letting your head hang down backwards. Bring your chin to sternum, like that. Exactly like that. The breathing will be inhaling on the way up. So, Tibetan number four, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and continue like that. Number four, five, inhale, and the last one, number seven, and into the upper stance to take two deep breaths. Inhale deeply, expanding, 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 hold for a second, exhale through the mouth with your lips pursed. And again, inhale, hold, exhale. Tibetan number five. So continuing the same way, I'll show it to you once, and then we'll do the sequence of seven. So it's going to be an up dog, toes curled under your feet, into down dog. Ready? Chin to sternum and inhale. Exhale, look up. Inhale. Exhale, look up. And continue like that. And continue like that. Four. Five. Six, inhale, jump up, the two deep breaths. Now if you're having a little bit of difficulty getting that deep breath in, getting a really full lung full <laughs> of air and prana, a little trick you can do to help you feel that and to understand the process of your lungs is to uh, exhale everything before you take your first deep breath. So you just lightly blow everything out, haul the air out of your lungs, and you'll feel a compressing and collapsing, and then start. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling slowly through the mouth. Very important to include that in between each exercise. Okay, so Christopher added a sixth Tibetan that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And I'd like to show you what that is because he's absolutely right. It makes a perfect complement to the five Tibetan sequence, the rites of rejuvenation. Now this little breathing technique is just a positive experience. You're going to bend over, blow all the air out, and then suck your navel to spine. With your navel sucked to spine, you're going to stand up and then slowly inhale. Now you want to try that. Let's do it one more time. Blow everything out. Suck your navel to spine.
When you stand up, you hold for a few seconds or whatever is comfortable, and then inhale, and then exhale slowly. And you're going to feel fantastic when you do that. And now it's time for Shavasana, one of the most important postures in yoga. <laughs> like I always say, the easiest posture to do, to do, the hardest posture to get into. All you want to do is lie down, feet at about shoulder width with your feet pointing outwards, hands upwards. Take deep breaths and put your attention on the tip of your nose and start to be aware of your breathing. And just follow your breathing into your body to see where it goes. Each inhalation nurturing and energizing and every exhalation bringing you into a deeper state of relaxation. And in that state of relaxation, you're a lot calmer and more focused because nothing's pressing against you from the outer world. When you put your attention inside and you get control of that and you start to recognize that little spark of God that's in you, very beautiful place to be. So Shavasana helps us get there and we can follow our breath. And if our mind starts wandering, bring your attention back to your breath or the tip of your nose and just try to be aware of your body. I think in Christopher's book, he talks about Yoga Nidra and it's worth learning about. But the basics of the technique is just scanning through your body. Put your attention on your toes and move your attention up through your legs, through your hips, through your body, to your fingertips and then up through your arms and shoulders and head and just feel how every part of you feels. Recalibrating your entire being. And after a couple of minutes, you can just wiggle your toes and fingers, open your eyes wide and shut them tight. Take a big deep breath and sit up and feel how you have just rejuvenated your entire being. So I hope you liked the five Tibetans and let me know how you feel when you practice them because I'm sure you're going to be feeling great. So peace out everybody <laughs> and uh, have an amazing day. Thanks a lot for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Yoga Vibe. And oh yeah, thanks again Christopher. You gave us a great little book. Where's the book? It talks about the chakras in here, Kundalini meditation, Shiva Samhita, his personal experiences. Very inspirational. Now, I've never done this before, but I think I'm not affiliated in any way, but I'm going to put a link for the book. I looked it up on Amazon and it's actually available. So there's a link in the description box if you want to get this book. And, uh, and I highly recommend it.